Hi everyone, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. As a disclaimer, this is an adult only colouring channel and my videos are in no way intended for or directed at children. Okay, so today whilst I have the flu, <laughs> so please bear with me, um, I am going to be recording part four which is also the final part of my entire colouring book collection and I will also be showing you all of my completed pages and whips as per the other three videos. I hope you enjoy and if you see any books in this um, video that you would like an entire flip through of please feel free to let me know either down in the comments section below or you can email me, um, Facebook, message me, Instagram, message me, whatever is easier for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's just get stuck in. So this next section of books are my Carla Magana colouring books. You guys know if you've been with me for any length of time, I adore Carla and her artwork. Um, yeah, I just, I, I cannot rave about her and her books enough. So the first book I have is Spooky Sweets. Like I said, this is by Carla Magana. And I have completed quite a few in here. I've done that one. I think that was a marker base and then pencils over the top. Um, some gold and silver marker and some white Posca by the looks of it. This one is just water-based markers and glitter gel pens and then a sticker up here that my youngest gave me that she wanted me to put on there. <laughs> this one I really like the way that this one turned out. A lot of fun. So as you can see I have coloured quite a few pages in this one that was for Halloween 2018 um, for those of you who don't know um, Shaleen from the colouring book Nook and I every October we co-host hashtag Halloween so for the month of October we colour through any of Carla's books and use that hashtag so yeah I think there's got to be <clears throat> um, the book of Carla's that I have coloured the most in. I just, I, I love her artwork. It's just, it's so fun. It really is. That was Carloween 2019. So this one was done last year. I like the sparkles on that one. As you can see, I added with Posca and um, gel pen some doodles in her hair there as well. It's just like lines and stuff. Just that one. I wasn't sure about the colour combination on her, but I actually really like it. And then this one. I've, I'm not happy with this page. I messed this cross up really badly. And I've tried going over it in black marker and black Posca, but um, I can call it done. So that's Spooky Sweets. Then by Carla Magana, we have Dark Garden. <clears throat> I think I've only coloured a few in this one. Yeah, okay. So... This one was all done with Prismacolor pencils um, and this was for um, hashtag the tiny tin tag 2019 um, and for that tag you had to use a small set of pencils or markers. I think the set couldn't be any bigger than 12 um, and colour a picture using just those, those colours. So I coloured that one. This one, this was November 2018. And this one, this was for Halloween 2019. 
wasn't too keen on the background. But I like the rest of it. Um, yep, yeah, that's it for Dark Garden. Then again by Carla, I have Desert Muse. I don't think I've coloured many in this one either. So I'll just show you some of her pages. So if I sound croaky or snuffly, I do apologise. Like I said, I'm battling the flu at the moment, so please bear with me. I was really happy with how this one turned out. And I did use um, marker base, shaded it with pencils. Um, <clears throat> obviously there's some Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic on here. And then on these doodles here, where we've got kind of like this green, kind of yellow green kind of colour, where I've doodled, that was with a Derwent line painter. So that was just something different on that one. Then by again by Carla Magana, I have Cocktail Tropical. I think I've only coloured one or two in this one. That one for hashtag colour your hoard. This bit here was like a, a blue colour. I really didn't like it, so I coloured over it in black. But um it has if if I do that, it has got glitter gel pen on it. I need to come back to this book actually because it's really cute with all the tiki's and stuff and the cocktails. Really, really cute. Then I have We Wicked's, and I do actually have another copy of this because I've coloured so many in this book, and I love it. Um, and I was hoping I could have had this one completed by now, um, but it will definitely be this year, and then I'll have my second copy. So it'll be We Wicked's 2.0 <laughs> next year in 2021. Um, but as you will see... I have completed quite a lot in here. <clears throat> so we have a pickle was here. <laughs> I think I've done this in a live stream and pickle, bless her heart, she is the Sparkle Queen. And um, she chose the name Sparkle for him. So we did write that down there. So very cute and shiny. This one was done in ink tents with a little bit of, um, there's like some uh, kind of metallic watercolour paint there. And that is from KJ Designs by Karen on Etsy. We have this one. This was acrylic, the grass and the purple in the sky. The purple was great, but this, this green was just, yeah, it was not good. So I wasn't um wasn't overly happy with that one, but hey ho. And then we've got shiny paint there on the moon. So yeah, I've done quite a lot in this one. I love my pink kitty. <laughs> really like that one. I had a lot of fun doing him. So as you can see, these pages are so much fun. I think I missed one. Yeah werewolf or werecat <laughs> whatever you want to call it there so yeah i don't have there's a section here of pages that need to be colored this one so i named him king bentley after carla's dog <laughs> carla's dog bentley is so adorable such a little character, bless his heart. And this was a technique I used from Carla as well. She used um, like gel pens to sort of go in and scribble to add like kind of shading and depth and stuff. And I, I got that technique from her and I actually really like it. It looks cool. Um, my bat. I was pleased with how that one turned out. And that was just quick and easy. Um, my vulture 
and that was October 2018 and this one 2018 as well so yeah as you can see this book has been very well loved have a lot of fun in this i just i find carla's books just so they, they make me want to just let loose and have fun and i love that about these books i really do so the next is stardust space list again by carla oh, this is i love this book i just oh my gosh i cannot i cannot um gush about these books enough so this one was marker base, shaded with pencils, and then I've used gel pens and gold paint marker. This was done with black jelly roll glaze, and then I went over with a jelly roll moonlight and just sort of scribbled over the top here and here. So there's that one and there's this one but yeah absolutely beautiful beautiful pages this was the first one i'd done in this book and i was trying a different um limited palette a different color combination and i really really like these browns and like kind of um, vintage pinks and stuff i really really like that and then with the pop of green as well really pleased with how this one turned out oops just show you some pages and I've done this one this was Halloween 2019 again marker base um, pencil shading gel pens and then I used Neo Colour 2's for the background and went over with a gold paint marker to add some details. I know I want to colour that rocket red because um, a couple years ago when, when my son was, you know, when he was a toddler, I bought him from um, the Early Learning Centre a red rocket so yeah i want to color that and sort of dedicate that page to him <laughs> and this one this was done last year as well so there's watercolors posca glitter gel pen um i did say watercolor didn't i um and then i used a van gogh uh, washi tape for the border the um, starry sky which is my favourite my absolute favourite painting in the whole world this was uh, a second page in here that I coloured I wasn't overly happy with this one but and then this one I'm really, really happy with how this one turned out. She is super, super sassy. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was a lot of fun as well. Then we have <coughs> the Macaron sketchbook. Again, this is by the beautiful Carla. This book is amazing. It is um, a de definitely a, it's a smaller format than her other books. If I just show you. So this is Stardust Space Lust. This is the Macaron sketchbook. So if I just do that. So you can see it is considerably smaller. But it is a lot thicker. I've got coffee on it there. Is it? Oh no, gold paint. We have gold paint. I thought that was coffee. <laughs> but it is a lot thicker. Um, and as with all of Kyle's books, they are printed single-sided. So you can use whatever mediums you like. But this one is just so cute. And it would be perfect to put in your bag and carry around with you. I've coloured a few in here. This one. I love her. I think this is one of my favourite ever Carla pages that I've done. I'm really, really pleased with how she turned out. 
because I used all sorts on that one. Um, yeah, and this one, this was just um, alcohol markers and a little bit of pencil on her skin. Um, and some gold marker and um, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic. That one maybe took me about three quarters of an hour to do. It didn't take long at all. Um, I'm sure there's another one. Yeah, this one. I really had a lot of fun with this one. This was a marker base and then I've gone in with gel pens, done that sort of scribbly thing around her, added some texture to her hair and then I had a gold ink and I had an idea to try and sort of make it run down the page but it was a bit too thick so it didn't quite work out how I wanted. It's the, um, I think it's Windsor and Newton drawing ink, gold drawing ink. Um, so what I did was just ended up blobbing it and then sort of blowing it to try and make it kind of run down the page. So there was that one. I think that's it for the macaron sketchbook. I need to colour in this one soon. And then the final book of Carla's that I have is her most recent and it is the Fashion Circus colouring book. Again, it's single sided. <clears throat> so perfect for alcohol markers if you just put a blotter page to protect your next image. Okay, so this is the one that I've completed. This was Halloween 2019. So as you can see, this is my typical alcohol markers, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic pencil, white gel pen. Um, it looks like there's some Jelly Roll Moonlight on there as well. So she was a lot of fun. I like the colours on that one. Okay, I'll just show you a few more pages. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. I don't even know if I want to colour this. I'd quite happily just cut him out and frame him. I just think this page is stunning. I love it. And then this is a work in progress. I was using Tombow Erosions in pencils, Jelly Roll Glaze and Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic. Um, I doubt I will use the Erogitin pencils on her anymore though because they were so hard and it was, it was hurting my hands. So I may change to Prismas or Polychromos, I think. But yeah, I was liking the green, black and gold on that one. So that is my Carl and Garner books. And then the next... <clears throat> I have Serene by Nicholas Chandrawayanata, um, otherwise known as Nick Filbert. I love this book so much, but oh my gosh, it intimidates me. I just want to do the artwork justice. So I've got a work in progress in here that has been like a whip forever. Um, I, I'm so near done with it though. So I do need to come back and finish it. Now this is printed on thick, thick paper verging on cardstock. Absolutely beautiful. It will take whatever mediums you throw at it. If you're going to use alcohol markers, again, put a blotter page just to protect your next image because you just look at this artwork. You wouldn't want to spoil any of it. And then, so you've got your image here. And then on the back, of each image you have the name of that picture and the copyright information so I'll just show you a few pages in here absolutely stunning So this is the one that has been like a forever work in progress. 
this one which I, I really need to come back to and get done but I was just I, I was really taking my time on it and working slowly um, I just need to do some shading really it's mainly just shading now and adding details and things like I have you know up here So that was alcohol marker, Prismacolor, and um, looks like some fine liners and a Posca. I don't like the green Posca outline on this, so I have to go over that. And then this is why I just like alcohol marker based her face. That's it. That's all I've done in this book. But I need to build up the courage and come back to it. Look at her. Absolutely stunning. I need to just start being braver. That was one of my goals for this year. <clears throat> is to start being braver and... Um, so I'm scrubbing my coffee. Um, yeah, start being braver and not, not doubt myself so much. Just, you know, have fun with the books. That's what they're there for. You know, the books aren't there to just sit and look at. So... Right, two seconds, I'm just going to have a bit of my coffee. Okay. I did put um, an extra spoonful of coffee in and a, a little bit of extra sugar. Okay, this one I received... I'm trying to think. I'm filming this on... Wednesday the 12th of February I received this was it yesterday or Monday um anyway I received this like a day or two ago I was actually um looking on one of the um art buy and sell groups that I'm a member of on Facebook and a lady had had this book advertised since November and I've had my eye on it for so long but it would just the shipping would work out almost the same price as the book if I purchased it from Etsy so I didn't get it um, and I kept seeing this book on this group and I thought there's no way the lady will still have this book if she advertised it back in November anyway I messaged her and she did so I purchased this second hand and the pages have not been touched the only thing is that she has written the name of the book and the artist in pencil inside the front cover so this is fluorescence by googly i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but this is the book beautiful thick thick book and the pages are like a they're like a creamy kind of color they are very very toothy pages i've not colored anything in here but this is it's thick paper the pages are numbered but the images in here are just so beautiful let me zoom out a little bit so you can see them a bit better So they are stunning. But I don't know what I would use on it. I'm kind of thinking watercolours. I think if I used pencils, I would really have to do lots of light layers because, like I said, this is incredibly toothy paper. But it is stunning. I'm so happy to have this book. So yeah, I, I purchased it from her. I PayPal'd her the money on Monday. And funnily enough, she doesn't live that far from me. So rather than post it, bless her heart, she delivered it. Which is so lovely. Okay, now we are moving into Johanna Basford books. So let me zoom back in. Okay. <clears throat> So this is Secret Garden, and I think with many of us, this is probably one of the books we first started out on, 
with adult colouring. Um, I've had a couple of copies of this one. Um, and Enchanted Forest. Um, but yeah, this is the copy that I have now. As you can see, the paper inside is quite, quite a dark, dark cream. Um, done this one, this double page spread. And I think that was the first time I ever used my soft pastels as well. I'm really happy with that one. These pages are double sided. I remember with my first ever copy, I had this one and a Millie Marotta book and some fine liners, and that was me. <laughs> um, this is a work in progress. So I need to go in and do shading and stuff on here, and I do want to add, of course, a background. So there's that one. I don't think I've done anything else in this copy, to be honest. But yeah, the pages in this are really, they're really, really dark creams. So I don't know if it's, that's just sort of discoloration. Oh yeah, I have with this one. So that's um, Fine Line is Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic and Posca. On that one. So that's a Secret Garden. <clears throat> and then I have Enchanted Forest. And I do have a second copy of this. I ordered a copy from eBay. And when it arrived, even though the book was advertised as brand new, it had six pages coloured in it. Um, so they sent me a replacement, which I didn't think they were going to because it took them so long to get back to me. So in the meantime, I ordered one from Amazon. And then literally when this one arrived, literally, I think it was like two or three days after the one from eBay, the replacement arrived. Um, but yeah, Enchanted Forest is definitely, um, I think, my favourite of Johanna's books. Um, but yeah, like I said, this was a new copy. I think I've coloured. Yeah, because I wanted to try and go through the book in order. Um, I'll come back to the title pages and stuff. With the map... I want to colour things, um, colour them bit by bit so that the colours that I use on here match where these are in the book, if that makes sense. So I've coloured these two. This one was first actually, and then that one. But um, on this one, I used Crayola Super Tips, um, Arteza Fine Liners, Carandosh Neo Coloured Twos for the compass. Um, it looks like there is some Jelly Roll Metallic and some Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic on there. And then a um, Uni Paint Marker, Permanent Paint Marker in gold on that one. And then this one again is um, Arteza Fine Line, it's Crayola Super Tips. There's some pencils on here, but I don't know what they are. And some... Um, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic. So that's the two pages that I've done in Enchanted Forest. We move on to Lost Ocean. This book really intimidates me because of how detailed it is of all the little teeny tiny spaces. Um, this is printed on pure white paper, which I love. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. I think I would be, probably be tempted to do like a watercolour wash, a really, really light wash over it and then just go in with like fine liners and some ridiculously sharp pencils and just pick out a few bits rather than colour every little detail individually. Love things like this. I love that. Um, I'm sure I started... Yeah, <laughs> I 
started on this one with some Pento Hybrid, some Jelly Roll and some fine liners. Because this does actually go in a pattern, so I was trying to you know, pick out those bits and make sure I was doing it all the same. But that's just something that will be like a, a forever work in progress and just work on this little by little a bit at a time. I thought there was something else. Yeah, this one. So this was um, fine liners, um, glitter gel pens, um, jelly roll, moonlight, neo colour twos for the background. Was that one? I thought there was another one. Um, I should have flagged the pages really. No, no, that's it. So that was Lost Ocean. Then I have Magical Jungle. And again, I do have a second copy of this one as well. So because the pages in here are double-sided, I wouldn't recommend alcohol markers unless you're prepared to sacrifice one of the images due to the bleed through. I did start on that one. I never came back to it. But I should. I should because I was liking how, how these were turning out. I think that was using um, castle art pencils as well, if I remember rightly. On that page... Um, that one gold and stuff on him. Shall I zoom out a touch? Oops, that one. This devil page spread, oh my gosh, the memories on this one. Um, I coloured this when something really horrendous had happened to Tegan. And um, I coloured this all with um, Crayola Super Tips and fine liners, And then just shaded the butterflies with pencils. <clears throat> and that one. This one, um, I use a Black Widow pencils on this page, on some fine liners and silver marker. This one was um, during a colour along with Anne at A Colourful Life. Um, I was really happy with how my two can turn out. That was a couple of years ago. Goodness. <laughs> brings back memories looking at some of these pictures I'm like oh my goodness I remember that um these two that was a work in progress for a long time and then I was just like oh let's just get it done so that one. Oh, and the um whoops oh my goodness the nameplate page as well just adjust that a second. There we go. Nameplate page. So that was Magical Jungle. Then I have Johanna's Christmas, again by Johanna Brassford. Um, I have coloured quite a few in here. And that one. This was for, it, I had it written on the back. Colour Christmas in July 2017, week two. Wow. <laughs> 2017. Oh my goodness. So there's that one. And then I did add my own background here with um, some snow, little North Pole sign, snowman, some snow. Um, that's a work in progress. That was, I think, that was just all fine liners on that one. 
but I want to do this really wintry, so I do need to come back and do that. Um, my snow globe, and then I just added some swirlies and wrote "Let It Go" on there because it reminded me the um of the castle in Arendelle. So there's that one. That was from Disney Frozen. That castle. Um, this one was Colour Christmas in July 2017, week 3. So that was the Nutcrackers. So it looks like I've used super tips and pencils and glitter gel pens and Posca and all sorts on these. That's still a work in progress. This was the first page I ever started in this book and that was all with fine liners. I've not come back to that yet. Um, and then Colour Christmas in July 2017, week one. That was a gingerbread house. I was really happy with how that turned out at the time, but I think now I may do it differently. But it's cute, and I like the sweets around the edges. Um, this one... This one actually came out of the book. The pages are perforated and this was really loose and just came out. I think this was the first time I ever really tried um, blending with my Prismacolor pencils. It might even be the first time I used them on that one. I was really pleased with how that turned out. I think that's it for this book. Yeah, so that was Johanna's Christmas. I'm just going to take a sip of my coffee. Okay. Then we have um, World of Flowers. Again by Johanna Basford. And as always, her pages are double-sided. This is like an ivory, ivory cream kind of colour paper. I completed that one. And it actually, surprisingly, didn't take me very long. Um, I worked on it for about two days on and off. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it didn't take me long at all, that one. I really enjoyed it though. I worked, I worked hard on that. That was a lot of fun. But as you can see, Joanna's work is just absolutely stunning. It really is. This one, this was a buddy colour with the lovely Candace. So we coloured that one together. And then I have a work in progress, which I really need to get back to. This one. I'm using a limited palette on this, and this is Prismacolor pencils, fine liners, and um, gel pens, and some Posca, some white Posca or white jelly roll. I've only got these three down here today, so I need to get on and do that one, maybe. So that's World of Flowers. Did I do the nameplate page in this one? Oh yeah, I did. Nameplate page. And that was just fine liners and Posca and glitter gel pen. So there's that one. Um, and then we have Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. This is another one of Johanna's books that I have a second copy of because I love it so much. Um, and I want to be able to have, you know, one book where, you know, every page is coloured and whatnot. And then the other one. I want to be able to use like different mediums and alcohol markers and stuff and just see what I can do to some of the pages. But this is lovely because it's a story as well. So this is a storybook which has illustrations with it. And I, I just love that concept. I think it's amazing. So absolutely beautiful. So again, this is a work in progress, this one. It's fine liners, pencils, glitter gel pen for the bumblebee's wings. 
there. This one, the colour de Mandala. And that was a uh, fine liners. I think I used this green kind of minty green colour. Looks like a um, an open stock um, Tombow water based dual brush tip marker. It looks like that. There's some glitter gel pen on there. Some Posca. Um, I thought I had covered another one. Is that one? This one was done on video, but that video is no longer on the channel. Ah, this one. This is the one I was wondering about. So this one is done with um, pencils. It looks like there's some neo colour too there some Posca um, that one and that is a work in progress I wasn't overly happy with the way that that was turning out but we'll keep going and see what we get and then the title page has been done as well so that's Ivy and the Inky Butterfly and I do also have Johanna's um, How to Draw Inky Wonderlands. I participated in her inky art class back in, um, oh my goodness, October, November. And I purchased this um, to help me with that. I do think I've coloured something in here. And I know I've drawn a few things as well. But this is this is great. This is a really lovely book. It teaches you how to draw like wildflowers and all things like that. Okay, so this is one where I've added my own drawings to. In we had to draw it in pencil first and then go over it with black fine liner. So I added. Um, these bits up here, the bottle, some bits of leaves here, um, the fish, that one, these, these, that little shell, these, the anchor, these circle bits. We had to finish some of these down here. So yeah, I added quite a bit to that one. I was really, really pleased with how that turned out. I don't know if I hold it close enough, you might be able to see some of the pencil lines, I don't know. But um, yeah, I added quite a bit to that one. I'm sure there was something in here I drew as well. Um, Sorry, in here that I coloured. I want to go back and work from this one. Pull my sketchbook back out. Ah, this one. I coloured that page. I just thought that was really pretty. It was a very, very limited palette, but I had a lot of fun colouring that one. I think... I thought I doodled more in here, but... Maybe not. Maybe not. So that was that one. Okay, and then moving into my Jasmine Beckett Griffith books. I have the Fantasy Art Adventure Colouring book. Um, this is my second copy. My first copy got ruined. Um, I managed to salvage a couple of pages, but I cannot find the binder where I put them. Um... But yeah, she's one of my all-time favourite um, artists. Her work is amazing. Coloured this one. So happy with how she turned out. And I like my colour choices on that as well. Be 
beautiful, beautiful artwork in here. Gorgeous. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Like I said, I did have quite a few coloured in my um, original copy. Then I have Jasmine Beckett Griffith Halloween. I don't believe I've coloured anything in this. Again, this was a do-over copy. Oh, I'm working on this one. <laughs> I completely forgot about her. I started her about two weeks ago two three weeks ago i completely forgot i had started her this is all done in um big markings and then her skin i believe was an arteza everblend marker um what was i shading her skin with i think it's prisma colors but because this one's called voodoo in blue i thought i would Give her, um, you know, like a sort of peachy skin tone, but then shade it in blue and see what I could, see what I could do with it. I completely forgot I started her. I have to come back to that one soon because I, I love Jasmine's work so much. It's just beautiful. I know in my other copy I coloured that. I was really pleased with it because I think she had purple skin. <laughs> purple skin and great green hair, I think. So, absolutely beautiful. Jasmine Beckett Griffith Halloween. And then I have <clears throat> Jasmine Beckett Griffith Mermaids colouring book. I do have the Alice in Wonderland one somewhere. I think it's actually, I think it's down in my pile of completed pages. I'll get that one in a second. So this is Jasmine Beckett Griffith Mermaids. Again, these are printed single-sided. So if you want to use alcohol markers, you can. Just, as I always say, put a blotted page between. And just be mindful that there is um, a little bit of information here about Jasmine's original paintings for these images. So these two go to these pages. You know, this goes to this one but if you don't mind that being covered with alcohol markers or whatever then you will be fine these pages take watercolours really nicely gorgeous gorgeous images like I said if you want a flip through of any book that I show in this video let me know she's a, an, a long time work in progress I just, I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't thrilled with how she was turning out, but I'd still like to get her finished. This one. I struggled so much, especially this lily pad here. I remember struggling with that one a lot. And there's that one. This one I really like this one I like the butterflies and the colors on her on her on that one then I know I have a forever work in progress this one it's just all these little bits and I don't know what a lot of them are or how to color them um, yeah I was just getting really disheartened with that so I kind of abandoned it I don't want to leave it incomplete, so I, I don't know about that one. Um, and then I do have her latest Alice in Wonderland book. If I just turn on this way, see if I can grab it. Okay. Let's pull the light back over. So we have Alice in Wonderland by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. This one is beautiful, as are all of her books. But what, what Jasmine has also done in this one is she's incorporated some famous, excuse me, famous paintings 
um, in some of these images as well. Alice in Monet's Water Lilies. Alice in a Van Gogh Nocturne. So, yeah, really, really unusual and quirky, but I love it. Absolutely love it. And this is the one that I've done in here. Um, I used okay, so it's all okay, so it's all castle art pencils, and then I've used some um Bic marking ultra fine, some Pentel hybrid dual metallic. You will see this one in my February completed pages, some white Posca, and then I used Dare and Ink Tense. For the green on the background so there's that one like i said beautiful beautiful work put that one back there okay then we move into let me see we move into cabby rosanas just trying to get his books in order Oh my goodness, didn't have them very well set out. <clears throat> so I have Imagine Morphia by Kirby Rosanas. His work is breathtaking, but oh my goodness, in some areas, like, it, it's oh, it's super detailed, but it's, it's brilliant. I love this with the fox. So we do have quite a lot of double page spreads. These are obviously single. The pages are double sided. So I wouldn't recommend alcohol markers. Look at this. I've got the T-Rex and then here as it sort of morphs into all of Kirby's like famous duels and stuff. We've got other dinosaurs and plants and little things hidden really really lovely we've got fish down here <laughs> a playing card globe really really beautiful so this is a recent um double page spread that I finished it was a work in progress for the longest time so I recently got this finished there's quite a lot of glitter gel pen on there I hope it's going to show up there you go on this uh like steampunk airships thing so I used dough and ink tents for the clouds and did I use it for the background as well was that neo colors I'm not sure but yeah, I use dye and ink tents for the clouds and for the brown, you know, brown colours on the airships. And as you can see, the paper took it really well. It's tiny, you know, bits of bleed through in some places, but that can be coloured over and covered up quite easily. So, beautiful, beautiful artwork by Kirby. one had some gel pen on it as well that's all I've done in this one there we go so that's Imagine Morphia and then I have Mythomorphia this was my favourite book of Kirby's for the longest time until Wilds Within Wilds came out I'll show you that one in a minute but I do this is still like up there so this is like my second favorite but by by like a hair so I, I love this I do have a second copy which I purchased from eBay last week for I think about three pounds or something a brand new copy 
Um, so I'm really, really pleased. Um, so this is Mythomorphia. Now the paper in this one, it sounds really strange. The paper in this one kind of feels thicker than um, the other the other one. But this is like mythical creatures and stuff. Stunning artwork. Whoops. As you can see. Really, really beautiful. Love that food dog. So pretty. I, I want to do him with my ink tents. I know what colours and stuff I want to do him, so maybe he'll be the next one in here. But I do have some whips that I need to finish. Let's look at this one. Started and just yeah, I coloured it for a little while. And I was just like, mm, okay, I'm bored now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, started him. I was trying to push myself out of my comfort zone by colouring something I never normally would. And I've come back to this page so many times. Um, but yeah. Kind of struggling on that one a little bit. Um, this one, my little tree gnome, tree goblin, whatever you want to call him. I think he was with Diamond Ink Tents, and then there's like some pencils and stuff on there as well. I did bleed through a little bit up here, but that's okay. That background can be coloured over, not a problem. So it's him. Love this. I absolutely love this double page spread. I want to do this all in reds and golds. And some really nice sort of turquoisey blue colours as well. Really pretty. These are with ink tents. I was trying them out, trying to see how I could put like a base layer down and then go in and add shading and stuff. But the marker from the page over was coming through on this I was really really sad because I was trying so hard on that page but yeah this was the first page in here I coloured the jackalope and then the yellow from him was coming through on the horse and so but I was really really happy with this one and all the colours and stuff That's it for this one. A tiny little bit there, but nothing, nothing major. And then we have Phantomorphia. Um, and these are a lot thinner than Kirby's standard books. And this is printed single-sided. But I believe from, you know, sort of... Um, things that I read at the time, I believe that there was kind of a bit of a conflict of interests between Kirby and the publisher. I think the publisher was putting a lot of pressure on Kirby from what I remember. Um, so this isn't something that I believe Kirby was overly happy with, but needless to say, it is still his artwork and it's still beautiful. The format of the book is just different. So like I said, it's single-sided. So if you wanted to use alcohol markers in these, then you absolutely could, so long as you have your blotter page. It's got some beautiful, my favourite, <laughs> owls. Beautiful, beautiful pages in here. I coloured this one. I coloured a couple in here, I think started that one this was um i think this was our taser ever blend markers i was just trying out some of the greys <laughs> i gave him a green eye this one i think that was the first one in here that i ever colored i left the skull as it was you know sort of just kirby's standard sort of sketchy artwork and then the only thing on here i colored was the butterflies 
so some of them have glitter on them some of them don't but I like how that one turned out and this one I wasn't overly thrilled but it's done <laughs> this was a lot of this was um the background was alcohol marker in the branches I think the rest was um like Crayola super tips or Statler and there's some gel pen and stuff on there so there's that one I don't think I I didn't colour anything else <coughs> <clears throat> okay, let me just grab a sip of my drink. Okay. <clears throat> right, and then we have a Geomorphia, which is the same format as the Phantom Morphia, but this is printed single-sided and it is thinner than all of Kirby's other books. So this is Geomorphia. I don't believe I've coloured anything in this one yet. I like that with the koi's and the pagoda and cherry blossoms. It's really, really pretty. No, not coloured anything in that one yet. So that's Geomorphia. And then I have this version, which is Phantomorphia and Geomorphia. It's a smaller book, and this was sent to me by the lovely May, May Brox. Um, and I haven't coloured anything in this one. I'm kind of keeping it for special. <laughs> but yeah, this is the images from Phantomorphia and Geomorphia, and they are all single-sided. So I can go in with alcohol markers and stuff on this one. So yeah, I'm excited to um I'm excited to colour in that one, but I am kind of saving it. Um so yeah, there's that one. Oh, I'm running out of space on that pile. Um then I have Colour Morphia, which I was so lucky. Um Michael O'Mara Books, the publishers, they sent me this for review. They asked me to participate in their blog tour when this book was coming out. Um and I was so honoured because I love Kirby's work. So I was like, I you know, yes please, I would be honoured and over the moon to um review this book for you. So this is Colour Morphia and it has images in here which Kerry has picked as some of his images from his previous books. There are also, in the front of the book, images that other artists, images of Kirby's that other artists have coloured. And then it will tell you here the artist who coloured it, you know, what they've used and or things like that so that's really nice seeing other people's interpretations of Kirby's artwork which is lovely I really really like that and then we have the um the standard you know double-sided pages <clears throat> absolutely gorgeous I do have a work in progress this one I started this during the blog tour, um, during a live stream, I believe. I have worked a bit on it off camera, but I need to come back to it. The thing is, I'm really, really taking my time with it because I want to really get this as, as good as I can, this double page spread. And um, as you will see, yes, I have made every single mermaid look like Ariel because I love Disney. <laughs> So yeah, every single mermaid is Ariel in this picture. Um, but absolutely stunning. And I love, love, love that we have the double page spread of the wolf in Phantom Morphia, I believe. This is the front cover. But in the book, we only have like the, the front half of him. We don't have the back half, whereas here we do. So I am really pleased that we get to colour the whole thing in this book. So, yeah, you can see there's beautiful images there that Kirby has chosen from his previous books. I don't have Anamorphia, which was his first ever book. I don't have that one. 
So I do need to get that to complete my collection. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. So that's Colour Morphia. And then finally, <clears throat> and um, I've recently participated in the blog tour for this one. This is the um, new release by Kirby Rosanas, which is the Worlds Within Worlds Colour New Realms colouring book. Oh, guys, I love it. I love this book. Um, it doesn't have um, loads of Kirby's doodles like some of his other books do, which I love about this one. Don't get me wrong. I love the doodles, but this this book is something else it is stunning like i said mythomorphia um used to be my favorite kirby rosanna's book this one has overtaken it <laughs> but mythomorphia is still like a really really close second but this is my absolute all-time favorite kirby book now i love it there isn't any pages in here that I wouldn't want to colour. They're all stunning. And I am working on a double page spread at the moment. I started during the blog tour. Um, and I've been working on it off camera. For this one. I've been working on it off camera. But I do want to do another colour and chat. So depending how I feel. Um, after I've finished this video. I may do, you know, part two of this. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But there will be some more videos for this. So please keep a look out. Um, so far, I have used um, Crayola Super Tips. Bic Ultra Fine Water Base Markers. Polychromos. Prisma colours. There is some Pento Hybrid Dual Metallic for the flowers up here on the tree. And some Jelly Roll Moonlight and some white Posca. And Prisma colours. Oh, and some, um, oh my goodness, Arteza Inconic Fine Liners. <coughs> so we have been using those and i'm really taking my time with my prisma colors trying to sort of blend and shade the boots and i'm happy with how that's turning out i like the colors the pink and the turquoise it's one of my favorite color combinations so there's that one then we move into um the last few of my paperback books and then I have all of my hardbacks and then we are done so let's take a sip of my drink I'm really sorry I have to keep stopping um, I've really been struggling with this flu this is like coming towards the end of the second week of it now and I'm just I'm so over it, it's ridiculous. Okay, <clears throat> so the next one I have is Rhapsody in the Forest. Um, but I think this is the German version, I think. And this is by Kanoko Agusa. This is another one of those books that really intimidates me because of how detailed and beautiful the artwork is. And I just look at it and think, I, I can't do that. Um, I have got a work in progress in here. But as you can see, they're beautiful. The pages are double-sided. But the paper is a really, it's a nice quality paper. It's not super thick, but it's nice. I do plan on doing this double page spread all in glitter gel pens. All in blues and silvers. But absolutely stunning. I, I love the artwork and I'm desperate to colour in it. But I just, oh, I just, I don't know that. 
I can do these books justice. I started on this one, and this was a um, a colour along with pickle, um, and I started this quite a while ago. And I thought, yeah, th this is like a simple page, and it's it's treats like sweet treats, which is what the colour along was for. And I'm just colouring each thing individually, but I still haven't finished that yet. So that's my work in progress in here. But just look at these pages. Are they not stunning? They are absolutely breathtaking. I love this. I love this. The pond. It's absolutely beautiful. So there's that one. Oh my goodness, and I'm wiping out the tripod. And then I have Drumming Vanga by Tomislav Tomic, which is also known as Zelma Snova. So it's exactly the same book, but I think this is the Dutch edition. Um, I love this book so much. The paper is stunning. It is double-sided. This was a work in progress forever. But that was done with um, Statler Triplus Fine Liners, Karen Dosh Luminance Pencils. I think there's some Black Widow pencils on there. Um, Neo Colour 2, and some Silver Gel Pen. And so I was really pleased when that one was finally done. But this book. It is stunning, but my goodness, it is detailed. I do have a forever whip in here. I started it on live streams. Oh my goodness, it feels like forever ago. <clears throat> um, and we've done it over a few live streams and I still haven't finished it. I really need to though. But I love this book absolutely love it it's so incredibly beautiful it really is stunning and it takes any mediums really really well but because it's double-sided again i wouldn't recommend alcohol markers unless of course you're prepared to sacrifice a page but in a book like this no not me not me because i love every single page this is the forever whip. Those of you who've been with me for quite a long time may remember this. This was the first page I ever used my Karen Dosh Pablo pencils on. <coughs> Excuse me. And I was so pleased with how the, um, the mushrooms and stuff were turning out. <coughs> I was, yeah, really, really happy. But I do need to come back and finish this one. So, I need to get that one done. And then I think the only other page I've done, like the title pages, I think. Yeah, this one. And this one. And this ended up, this was a happy accident. I actually, I went to take this, I was drinking a glass of wine when I was colouring this one. And you guys know, I don't, I'm, I'm not a drinker. Um, but this one night I had a, a small glass of, of rosé wine and I went to take a sip and I don't know how but I missed my mouth, spilt wine on the page and where I had used my Statler Triplus Fine Liners it had made some of the colour bleed and I was like, ooh, that actually looks like watercolours. So I ended up getting some water and actually making some of the, the ink bleed and that's what this is. It's not watercolours or anything. This is all done with the ink that I activated from those Sattler fine liners. So, yeah, I like the way that that one turned out. That was a happy accident. Happy accident. Um, and then I have the follow-up book, which is Spluckus Boss by Tomislav Tomic. And this is also known as Villainsan. Um... And I think a lot of these are single-sided, so you would be fine with your alcohol markers. Not all of the pages are, but the, again, the paper in this is beautiful. I coloured this one for a colour along with Shaleen. 
this is the only page in here I've done, but I was so pleased with how that turned out. I look at that and think, oh my gosh, I coloured that. <laughs> it sounds really silly, but yeah, I, I was, not to blow my own trumpet, but I was really proud of myself for this one. So there's that one. But as you can see, these, you know, see this one, this isn't um, single side, we've got beautiful double page spread but then we do have an image here on the back but then we know that this image is single sided because that's blank so it's just something to be mindful of with um with this book but yeah as you can see it is stunning very detailed but again beautiful and this paper will take any of your mediums really well <coughs> So, yeah, I love that. Really, really, really pretty. And then um, this is a really new... Oh, hang on, where are we? All right, no. We have, okay, <laughs> Romantic Country, Second Tale. I did have one, two, and three. Tegan took a liking to them. Anyway, needless to say, um, I've been trying to get replacements. I have the second one, and then I ordered what I thought was the new World Heritage from Etsy. Anyway, that's the, yeah, that's a whole other story. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But I do, I did manage to get um, a new copy of the second tale. The third tale is now out of print, and oh my gosh, am I gutted! <laughs> absolutely gutted um but yeah i have the second tail and these pages guys if you haven't checked out eerie's work already her work is stunning and all of her images are drawn with toothpicks if you can believe that so i'm just going to flip through some of the pages now this is on like an ivory ivory color paper lovely and smooth really really nice and smooth paper i'm just doing it this way because my hand is starting to hurt sort of flipping through the books but yeah because this is a replacement copy i've not colored hardly anything i've just got one work in progress in here <coughs> excuse me, which is um, something that we've been working on together on camera. I do want to work through in order. And this is again one of those papers that takes any mediums really, really well. I just wouldn't recommend to your alcohol markers. So this is the work in progress that I'm working on, this double page spread. I have used Crayola Super Tips on the roof and, excuse me, the yellow of the flowers. I have used Derwent Ink Tents on the, you know, the, all the stonework of the castle, the blanket on the horse, the horse's um, skin, and the green here on the bushes. I need to add the other green to this one and activate it. And then I have used um, Arteza Inconic Fine Liners for around the windows. I think I used some Polychromos pencils on here. There's some glitter gel pen. Some Jelly Roll Stardust there on the leaves. Um, I'm going to use acrylic for the sky. So this is going to be very much a mixed media page. But I'm liking how that one is turning out so far. And that's all I've done in that one. Okay, and then I ordered what I thought was the new World Heritage book from Etsy. And this one arrived. And I'm thinking, hang on, the line art in here is really faint. This is one of the, um, like the draw around the world ones. It wasn't what I ordered and it wasn't what I wanted. But I will still use it. Um, I just need to figure out how exactly... I'm going to colour in here 
but I'm sure I'll figure something out. I don't want to waste the book because because it's beautiful <laughs> and it wasn't it wasn't one of the cheapest books but oh, there's a giraffe he's cute oh I might have to do him first I really like him I might have to do that one. um yeah I don't know maybe like watercolors and then shade with pencil and put some fine liners around the edges in some areas I don't I don't know I don't know we'll figure it out but I was gutted because I did really have my heart set on the new world heritage book so my beautiful friend Beth bless her heart she helped me get this from Amazon Japan and I cannot even begin to tell you guys how grateful I am that Beth helped me um so this is the new world heritage book I have got a complete flip through of this on the channel if you want to check it out. And I have been asked to colour on camera from this one, which I will do. I will uh, start this in here as soon as I finish the double page spread in the second tail. So this is another stunning book by Eerie. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, let me move this pile of books. Um, oh my gosh, okay. Um, let me think how I'm going to do this. See, if I, if I was able to pause and... Um, <clears throat> start re-recording would be easy but I'm not able to so unfortunately you guys will just have to bear with me for a few seconds while I get my arms in the way while I move this pile of books off the desk just to free up some room because we'll be doing the hardbacks now and then that will be it okay pretty much done pretty much done okay there we go oh my gosh right um hardback books so the first um pile of hardback books i have are my beloved hannah carlson books um this is daydreams i love the hard the hardback books i really do the colors of these covers are beautiful they have a black spine with the gold writing and they've got the foiling there on the front as well which is so pretty now these are double sided i colored this one for um sky from dreaming color um, for the HK5 project, she asked me to colour this one, which I did, and that was mostly using ink tents and some fine liners and um, gold paint marker. But yeah, these pages are double sided. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. <clears throat> Yeah, Hannah's work is just breathtaking. Some of these books I'm on my second copy because, again, my kids kind of took a liking to them. Some of them I just needed a do-over. I think my jewellery box book I needed to replace because I fell asleep with a marker in my hand on the page and it bled through about 10, 11 pages. Um, I've done this one. This was fine liners, Crayola super tips, pencil, um, Pentel hybrid dual metallic, and Posca on that one. 
this was a buddy color I started with Tegan because she like I said she has my original copy and she wanted me to do this one with her so I have started but we just haven't come back to that page but hopefully we will soon in my original copy I had colored this page as well the C took me forever because I was using like three colors and alternating so yeah that took me a while but you know my kids especially my two girls they love coloring so much so i i honestly i i i don't mind i don't mind um i have two copies of summer nights um because i love this book and there's also a few pages in here that i want to do over so this is my original copy <clears throat> again by hannah carlson Again, the pages are double-sided but her artwork is just stunning and it makes me happy just looking through her books at her work it really does I I admire her and she inspires me very very much this one this was Crayola super tips fine liners and I think it was um oh goodness my first ever set of pencils my faber castell classic pencils um so it was done with that i was happy with how that one turned out this one this was a work in progress forever i'm glad that that one is done as you can see there, I'm I I wasn't any good at colouring the skin. I didn't really know what I was doing. Got sparkly dragonfly wings. <laughs> Very pretty. So there's that one. And this one. That was all just markers and pencil with a little bit of glitter gel pen just up here on the bed. started that one um but this is the page funnily enough in my second copy that i have started with my castle art pencils um this one oh my god this was a disaster i was asked to show how i had colored a background in one of my clara markova books and i used this page as an example and i tried using my prisma colors and I don't know why, but I really struggled with my Prismacolor pencils on this. So I thought, oh, I know, I'll go over it in black Posca. And some areas it covered fine, other areas it went streaky. And I was oh, so frustrated with that page. That was kind of a reason why I bought a second copy. This was one of the first uh, colour alongs, I think done on my channel this page this one was in memory of the lovely um stephanie ray um from the coloring community who passed away last year so this was in memory of her and i wrote her name here above the door and these two i was so happy with how this turned out really really pleased i used um Neo colour twos on that and the background. That one took forever. I think again that was my um oh my favourite Castell classic pencils and some fine liners and gel pens and stuff. So yeah, that was one of my very, very super early pages. Um, bug and then my second copy of summer nights like i said i've started a page in here i won't flip through the book i'll just show you that one so this is what i've started with castle art pencils and some gel pen and so i've started a do over on the owl page and i like this one so much better than the other one so that's my second copy of Summer Nights. <clears throat> and 
And then I have Magical Dawn. This is my do-over copy of this one. Do you know what, guys? I've got so many like do-over copies of books. It's ridiculous. Um, okay, so we've coloured this little guy here. Again, like I said, this is by Hannah Carlson. In my first copy, this was done. Um, but yeah, we're starting over. So this is all done in pencil. Colored little crystals down there. So again, this is, you know, Hannah Carlson. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. As we know and love from Hannah. And she's got a really um, distinctive style as well. I think it's it's nice to be able to look at look at artwork, look at a page and be yep, yeah, that's that's Hannah's work. It's lovely to be able to do that to recognise an artist. Um, this was a buddy colour. We started with Tegan. She wanted to do it all in neons, and again, we haven't come back to it and. Yeah, I'm just, I wouldn't have chosen neons personally, but I'll come back to it at some point. This one, Kate's Colour, oh, Kate's Colourversary 2018. This was quite a recent one um, for when Aaron's dad passed away. I coloured that one. I think that's it for that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I have Tide of Arve, um, otherwise known as Seasons. I do have the English version of Seasons with the, um, the pale blue cover but that one hasn't been coloured in so again double sided I coloured this one in memory of my gran when she passed away because she she was a seamstress and a, an amazing cook um, so yeah I coloured this one with the, the spools of cotton and I coloured these sweets the same colour as the wrappers on her favourite sweets, wrote her name here and her date of birth. So there's that one. Started that one for a colour along with Shaleen. Um, I cannot remember what the hashtag was, but um, yeah, I need to need to finish that one. I have got a marker here to show that I've got a work in progress. I want to do this one all in blues and greys and look beautiful. So yeah, you can see that obviously these are seasons. It's my witch. I'm really happy with how she turned out. I wasn't too thrilled on the background, but I really like her in the shading that I tried doing. So that was another earlier one this is a forever work in progress and i just work on this one a little at a time because it is quite a busy quite a busy page um i cannot remember what colors i've shaded these flowers with and to be honest i'm not really overly liking it so i might try and erase the pencil on these and start again um a few in here yeah this one this was done on my channel but again it's one of the videos that's no longer available due to all the ftc and copper stuff that was going on back along these i was so proud of myself with her <coughs> excuse me <coughs> um i was trying to follow a Chris Cheng tutorial for colouring skin um, and I tried so so hard 
on this one and I think that was only my second or third attempt at skin so I thought you know for a newbie at colouring skin this came out okay it came out okay the only thing I'm disappointed with is that where I use neo colours here it kind of blurred and smudged onto this page so I'll have to I have to do a background on this one but I might just you know acrylic acrylic the background I think on that one it did bleed through a bit on here but again it, it can be covered but beautiful beautiful artwork and that's a work in progress as well so I need to finish a few in that one <clears throat> And then I have jewelry box. This is the one where I replaced my copy um, because I had fallen asleep with the pen in my hand. Um, have I coloured anything in this one? Oh, yeah, I did this one. I think this was for a Victorian colour along, and I didn't, I didn't want to colour a person. But when I found the this image with the bottles and the jewelry box and stuff, and I thought that was really pretty and different. So, yeah, I coloured those. And I think I used polychromos on that one, I think. Again, there's some bleed through here from some of the markers, but that can be covered. I don't think I've coloured anything else in here. Oh, okay, the type, the, um... The nameplate page. I've got a bit of fluff stuck on my nail. Okay, I've done the nameplate page. This was with the Castle Art Pencils. Gold. Um, Ganzai Tambi Starry Colour. Paint. Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic. And some fine liners. So, yeah. Very shiny. I like that one. And then we have... Soulmates from Hannah Carlson. This one feels a lot thicker than her other ones. It does feel feel thicker. The paper is lovely. Double-sided, as always. And this is lovely because in this book, <clears throat> um, it's soulmates, but it's also known as spirit animals, so they are exactly the same, exactly the same book. So we will have an image of a person here and then an image of an animal here. So they will these will be like the, the matching set if that if that makes sense. So obviously you've got a scorpion here with a diamond on the tip of his tail, and she's got the same here as a headpiece. But you'll see the connection as we go through. Steampunk. These are, these are stunning. And this is definitely one of my favourite Hannah books. I actually think it is my favourite. This is a work in progress. Um, and I think this is using um, Castle Art pencils. On... Um, I'm sorry that this is a longer video, but we'll we'll have the complete, you know, all the um, all the videos done then for my collection. Obviously, I had to do these first. It's an owl. It's an owl, so it had to be done first. So this was using. Oh my goodness, what pencils were I using on these? I can't remember what pencils I was using, but I did use um some neo color too i believe for the background <coughs> excuse me um some fine liners some gold pentel hybrid dual metallic um white posca so yeah i was really really pleased with how they turned out and that's that's all the pages i've colored in this book but as you can see they are beautiful. So 
so that is Soulmates by Hannah Carlson. <coughs> oh my goodness. Right, let's just have a sip of my drink and then we'll move into the next set. Okay. Then we have the books by Clara Markova. This one, I cannot pronounce this, but it is otherwise known as Magical Delights in English. Clara's books are stunning. They are single-sided. And then you have an area here with, you know, some little images and then some dotted lines where you can either write what you've used, write a little bit of a note about it, or maybe just a few lines, make up your own story about that picture if you want to. It's entirely up to you. But yeah, they're single-sided. So if you don't mind you know alcohol markers or whatever bleeding through onto this page you're fine but her work is just stunning whoops so there's that one then we have Tenderful Enchantments. Now, this is my original copy. I do have a do-over copy, um, just because I wasn't happy with a lot of things I've done in this one. <clears throat> but again, you can see Clara's stunning artwork. I wasn't happy with how this one turned out at all. Um, I use my Darwin ink tents. Um, there's some pencils on there, some markers. Um, Posca. I just, yeah, not, not too pleased with that one. Yeah. That was a work in progress for ages and then I went to go back to it as a buddy colour. I still wasn't happy with it, so that was kind of abandoned. Um, again, this one, I didn't like how this one was turning out. I think I used too much, too much green on that one. Um... I don't know, maybe I'm just being too um, critical, but I just, I doubt myself a lot, as you can probably tell. And, um, yeah. <laughs> I did do this one as a colour along. This was the first ever colour along on my channel. And that was with Luminance pencils and Neo Colour 2s, I believe, for the background. And then I put some sticky like foil, like kind of lace tape stuff, holographic, from um, the pan shop in the UK on that one. And that was my nameplate page again with a similar tape down there. I don't think I've copied, um, coloured anything in my second copy, have I? Oh, okay. So this is a work in progress. Um, yeah, my windmill. I'm happy with how this one's turning out. But I've been working really slowly on it because... Excuse me. I love these books so much and because they can often be quite hard to get hold of and they're not the cheapest books. Um, yeah, I really want to make sure that I do this copy justice. So I've been working really slowly on that one. Then I have Fairy Miracles, again by Clara Markova. You get a little sticker, a little note in here, and a bookmark. The bookmark is upstairs. So I do want to I've got that one in my art cart because I'd want to colour that for my mum. So again, <clears throat> 
some pages are double sided but on the back of that you'll have a blank blank page like that but I, oh, I love this so much it is stunning absolutely stunning this is a work in progress <laughs> um with all of these mushrooms i have written down the prismacolor pencils that i was using on these but i think this is the only one in here i've done maybe i've started something else i don't know um oh i started that um and that was just crayola super tips and fine liners so far but um i do plan on going in with like watercolors and stuff on this one as well so that's fairy miracles i need to get a wig along with that one and then fairy celebrations now this is a book that i'm working on with the beautiful candace and my best friend tess and um because i, I set myself the target of trying to get this book completed by the end of this year which is 2020 um and the girls wanted to do the same so the three of us are doing this together which is really nice um so i've put my sticker here in the front so i was going through and doing you know a page at a time and whatnot but now i'm just kind of jumping around and doing bits here and there this is a work in progress as you can see i'm gonna zoom in a bit okay so this has been a work in progress for quite a while. I started it with Tess, but I have been going back and working on it a bit at a time. And the other night, I shaded her outfit, finished putting the base on it and shading it, and shaded the icing on the cupcakes. Um, oh, and I was colouring some of these presents in here as well. So that one is just like a, you know go back to it as and when kind of thing <clears throat> but i've made a note here our taser everblend markers prisma color pencils um i did use bic markings on here as well so i need to write that down but there's a couple of pages i've started because i knew what colors i wanted to do so i've just put those colors down this was the first page in here I completed. I was really pleased with. And I love my little purple castle with the pink roofs. Very cute, my little ant castle. <laughs> so there's that one. Um, I don't think there's anything else before that. So this one, I've coloured hair like Ariel. Um, and then the colours that I've used on her... I've used on the flowers on this dress just to keep it cohesive um, and the red I used in her hair I've used on the flowers down here and the same orange as the fish and the starfish and stuff so started that one um, this one really liking how this one's coming along so I've used Cali Art Markers, Bic Intensity Ultra Fine and Prisma Colours. As you can see, I've written down the Prisma Colours again here, just so I know what colours I am shading the flowers. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then, yeah, this one. I completed my name palette page. I was really happy with how this one turned out. And this was done on the channel as well. So you'll see some colour and chats for this. Um, and as you can see, I've used a, a like a washi tape um, constellation border around the edge as well, which I just thought looked really pretty with the colours I've used on here. So I'm hoping to get this book finished this year. I'm really, really going to work hard. And then... I have Dream Reese by Maria Trolley. Um, 
this book is beautiful absolutely stunning the paper is so incredibly thick in this book the images are single-sided so you can use alcohol markers so long as you've got your blotter page to protect your next image but yeah as you can see it's a stunning stunning book i have colored a few in here this was the first one that i colored and this was one of my first times using prismacolor pencils as well and this was a buddy color with the beautiful paula so yeah i used prismacolors and i think i used some of the faber castell classics on this as well so there's that one started a few flowers there this one this was like just ridiculously quick super super quick crayola super tips and some pencils that was it oh and a fine liner but yeah that was it didn't take long at all this is a work in progress it's something sticky there on the edge of the page feels like i have tape or something there you have to be mindful of that but um yeah this is a work in progress so this is um it looks like fine liners and some pencils i don't know i don't know what um but i know that i want to do the fox with watercolors the fox and these big mushrooms and big leaves and stuff so i was doing the stuff i wanted to with the fine liners and pencils and then you know leaving the bits i wanted to do with ink tents and then i'll go in and shade stuff as well beautiful owl love 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 that page um a few yeah this one this was with my albrecht jeweler watercolor pencils some fine liners and some posca this one was alcohol markers pencils and posca so can you see even though i used alcohol markers yes it bled through but not not really bad like it does on some papers so yeah this thick thick paper verging on cardstock is amazing so that was a dream Reese by maria trolley then by the same artist i have twilight garden this is a do-over copy i need to just stop with do over copies and just stop you know doubting myself <clears throat> it's nice to see your progress isn't it so yeah i haven't um colored anything in here but it is stunning absolutely stunning look at those hedgehogs oh my gosh so cute but um i think emmy my youngest i gave her my um my first copy because she likes colouring flowers and stuff so she has that one and then I have Nightfall again by Maria Trolley these are stunning stunning hardback books and what she's done is the names of the plants and flowers and things she's given us a plant register here in the back so it'll give us the page the page number and then it will tell us what plants and flowers and things she's drawn in those pages so if we want to do them realistic we can look these up on google look at images of them and you know try and replicate the colors if we so wish i don't do that i just color them however but i think it's really lovely that maria has taken the time to do that for us for those of us who do like to color realistically and use you know true to life colors so this one <clears throat> looks like crayola super tip um jelly roll stardust some martesa fine liner and posca that's it 
so that's not like any shading or anything like that it's just a quick quick one and these black background images really make your colors pop off the page which i love stunning stunning book this one so I've, again i've done a washi tape border and then i used a rose gold washi tape to go over the moon it was a bit of a pain in the neck <laughs> trying to put the strips down and cut them to fit the sack was a bit wonky but you get the gist and then here's our girl here and there is um glitter gel pen on there as well i was pleased with how she turned out this one is a work in progress i was using oh what markers did i grab for this I don't know if it was my Statler 326s, but I I don't know, it just they feel a bit rough where I've used them. So I don't I, I'm not sure. I might just go back to my super tips, but um yeah, I've started that one just in, in water-based markers. That's a work in progress. Um I think yeah, that's it. So that's nightfall. <coughs> okay and then we have botanicum again by maria trolley beautiful beautiful book this one's really thick and again the paper quality is beautiful we have a plant register here in the back and then just some of the most adorable images her books just seem to get better and better, which I would never have thought possible because all of her work is stunning. But I think Maria is really, really outdoing herself. Look at this. How cute. Really beautiful. Unicorn. <laughs> yeah, really lovely. So I've not coloured hardly anything in this one. I do think I've coloured something or I've started something. Here we go. This was a buddy colour that I started with Tess um, using Prisma colours. I need to come back to that one. I've done a peacock in this one. Oh, and this one. This was um, using ink tents and fine liners as well. So, and I used my um, oh, Spectrum Noir Clear Glitter Brush Pen to go over the water to make it sparkly on that one. Um, nameplate page. So I have coloured a few in Botanica. And then, like, very, very recently, I received Flora, again by Maria Trolley. And I don't think I've coloured anything in this one yet. I don't even think I've started anything, to be honest. No. Oh, butterfly. <laughs> I've coloured a butterfly. There you go. <laughs> um, that was using um, Bic Intensity um, Fine Liner, like water-based um some prisma colors and um pentel hybrid dual metallic and a clear jelly roll glitter jelly roll stardust so there i've done a butterfly <laughs> and then the last of my collection is um sagor oxagna by emily leader holler oberg and um Oh, this book is so beautiful. I do need to come back to it. So I've coloured Santa on the back page there. These pages are double-sided. The paper is really nice quality. Some of them are 
more simpler than others, which is nice. So you get a really nice, <clears throat> a really nice variety of pages. Variety of images, I mean. Um, okay, that's a work in progress. But I, mm, I don't like how that's looking. I think that was my... Um, Faber Castell classics. I might see if I can erase it and um, maybe do like a Crayola super tip base and then shade over the top. This was a colour palette challenge. I had to colour a page in all greys apart from one coloured pencil and, and I could use, choose the colour. Um, this was all done in Prismacolors. As you can see, I used the cool greys, the warm greys and the French greys. And then I think, if I remember rightly, this was salmon, this colour here. That was done a long time ago. But um, yeah, I like the way that that turned out. And it was Louise who um, done the colour palette challenge on that one. This one, I really, really love how this one turned out. I'm so pleased. So that was a watercolour background. Marcus. Um, glitter gel pen, pencils. Just, yeah, through all sorts of this page by the looks of it. I like how that turned out though. Again, Forever work in progress. You just die went colour soft. <coughs> Excuse me. Um yeah, I need to I need to finish that one really. But I, I wasn't excuse me, I wasn't overly keen with um <coughs> with how these pencils were laying down on this paper. So I don't know, I might see if I can fix that again I love this this is one of my favourites and that was mostly done in markers and pencil and some Posca and gel pen but yeah really simple but I just think it's really really cute started that one and then I was colouring this one, with <laughs> limited colour palette, and Emmy decided to uh, go over to my desk with a grey pencil and <laughs> leave her mark on it. But where I tried erasing some of it, I was erasing the pencil that I had already put down. So I just call this page done <laughs> and say that it's a collaboration now. Um because I've I've tried erasing this as much as I can, but it's still super noticeable. So I just and obviously you can see where it's all over here. So yeah, I just I call that one done and say that that's a collaboration with my youngest. <laughs> and then here's the nameplate page. This was mostly done with Crayola super tips and pencils and some Posca. I've got some glitter gel pen up here for his crown, but because this page was done so long ago, I don't even think the glitter shows up now. But there we go. That is it for my entire colouring book collection, completed pages and whips. I'm so sorry that this was a longer video, but I really wanted to spend the time today um, to get this done. Um... So it's just, it, it's something that I can cross off of my list. Because while I've been in bed poorly, I'm kind of thinking, I've got all this stuff I, I want to get done. Um, so yeah, I thought I would get this one done today. So I hope you've enjoyed. Any books that you want an entire flip through of, let me know. And I will gladly do that for you. Um, thank you for joining. And I will see you again in my next video. Thanks everyone. Take care. Bye.